We're exposing a nasty new scam that hits you where it hurts, your family and your wallet. These predators know you'll shell out when the safety of a loved one's at stake. They'll target parents, even grandparents. So how can you protect yourself? A former con artist is letting us in on their secrets. Here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. I was at my office at work and I got a phone call on my cell phone. He says, do you have a daughter or a son? I said, yes, I have a daughter. It was 11 a.m. when Luann and Betty Ann's world was shattered with a single phone call. And he said, oh boy, there's been a terrible accident, four cars at an intersection. Everyone's unconscious. No, I'm panicking. So, I'm you know. freaking out. He said, what kind of car does she have? And I said, it's a Kia. He goes, oh yeah, there's a Kia here. Terrified, they jumped into their own car and headed out, desperate to get to their daughter. I'm thinking my daughter's laying in a highway somewhere, unconscious. And the scariest part is we didn't even know where she was. They wouldn't say a direct, you know, exactly where she was. And then the story took an unexpected, but even more frightening turn. Finally, I was like, look, you got to tell me exactly where you are and what the hell is going on now. Then his whole demeanor changed. And he was like, now you wait a minute. Now she was white as a ghost. Okay, we have her at gunpoint, and we're going to kill her if you don't give me $1,700. I never felt terror before in my life. This was absolute terror, having your child's life in your hand. But little did Luann and Betty Ann know that they were on the receiving end of the latest technique in an otherwise old, low-tech phone scam. Con artists claiming to have kidnapped a loved one to make you pay up. 25 million Americans lose more than two and a half billion dollars to fraud each year. And phone scams, which account for a big chunk of that, have been surprisingly successful for decades. Maybe they want you to invest in an oil or gas deal or gold coins. Maybe you've won the lottery. Or maybe it's someone posing as an IRS agent saying you owe back taxes. Whatever the pitch, these con artists are like top-notch salespeople, and they're extremely effective. The crush or the kill is emotionally driven. It's not logic. Meet you apply Jimmy, logic to this a convicted concept, con artist. No. These are dangerous people you are on the phone with. Okay, make no bones about it. I am a dangerous person on the telephone. If I choose to be fraudulent in my practices, there is nothing that's going to stop me from taking lots of money from people, period, the end. I don't know how people sleep at night doing this kind of thing, especially... Doug Shadell of the AARP has interviewed Jimmy and more than a dozen like him, trying to understand how they're able to pull off a scam most of us think we'd never fall for. We always ask them the same question. What is your central strategy for defrauding people? They all say the same thing get them under the ether. Under the ether? Ether is a heightened emotional state where you're no longer thinking rationally, but you're reacting emotionally. And this explains why so many people actually fall in for this stuff. You say, how could somebody that smart fall for this? It's not their intellect that's engaged when they make that decision, it's the emotion. Emotion, like claiming a child has been kidnapped. Looking back, I don't think I could have done anything different. Not at all, because when they do that to you, they they pull right at your emotions and you're raw and you're terrorized and you just whatever, you'll do anything. What is wrong with you? Listen to this and just imagine your own mother or grandmother on the other end of the line. I don't want to do the verification. Are you stupid? If you in front of me, old lady, mad, black, white, I would have slapped you right now, okay? Well, here we have... Uh... Any kind of fraud scam you can possibly imagine. These are Shadell has received piles of recordings from state attorney general investigations into phone scams. Sort of a top 40 collection for criminals with no conscience. There's no shortage of uh, people still calling. Many filled with abusive and demeaning Trouble. language, even threats. You'll never, ever be anything. You're going to your grave a loser. A big loser. I think you're terrible. There are thousands of people out there who are suffering in silence like this. But for law enforcement, tracking down the scammers can be challenging. It's easy to avoid detection, and uh, a lot of times people are embarrassed to report them, which makes it an even bigger problem. Prevention is the key, and, and the smarter consumers are, uh, the more likely they can prevent this. The New York Attorney General's office is currently taking on the grandparent phone scam, where a grandparent gets a call supposedly from a grandchild in trouble. And what we're here to do today is to enlist you guys, you students, to be fraud fighters. 
The AG's office is reaching out to teenage grandkids. And who wants to be the con artist who pretends to be the grandson? To try to get them to warn their families about the phony phone calls that could come their way. Why are you calling me at this hour? Grandma, listen, I need your help. I'm Investigators say they're up against crooks who have no problem tugging at a person's no, emotion to rip them off. I think that there is uh, really no sense of propriety about what these people do anymore. It suits them to get people more upset. This is all ready for that. All right. Betty Ann and Luann say they were lucky to be together when that phony kidnapping call came in. While Luann was on the phone with the scammer, Betty Ann frantically tried to call their daughter. At first I called and there was no answer. And I called again. I said, where are you? And then finally I get a text back. I'm in class. What's wrong? I was in the middle of a math class about to take a test. I said, tell me the password. Because we have a password thing where I, you know, there's a code, a password, so I know she's okay. Then once I knew it was a scam, I hung up on the son of a bitch, excuse my French. Me, I got upset and then I got angry. Because I'm like, who's doing this to my mother? That's Why true. is someone doing, who, who are you to do this to my mother? This is my mother, this is my family. They filed a police report, but doubt the callers will ever be caught, which is why they've asked us not to use their full names. And I would think they'd never get me. I'm too, you know, how are they gonna get me? I've been around, I'm too smart for that. But they got the info they needed and used it against me. Investigators warn, even if you keep your doors locked and passwords secure, crooks want into your life. And sometimes they're just a phone call away. It's a happy ending. That's Thank the you best God. part. Thank God. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in <laughs> Seattle.